We got a head start. This ain't a bad strategy either. Let's go. We have a great opening now. Let's take care of him quick. That's over. <laughs> this one's pretty tough. This one's for real. <laughs> That's what happens when I get serious. I never dreamed you'd try anything this risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball would be a much prettier place without you on it. The other Master Guilds surely won't like you ignoring the Union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated your touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongrest, those fools are gonna start a war with each other. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident from happening. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? 
You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. Hey, wait! Damn, that guy's a regular vanishing act. Now what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart thing to do? Hmm? Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and show me your face? Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Eifried. The very spitting image. Huh? Then it really is true that Patty is Eifried's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... Huh. I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Eifried's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Eifried's trail. I thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm. Have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... I'm afraid I don't have time to explain it now. Uh, I hate to cut and run, but I'll leave the rest of these guys to you. Wait! We should think about getting out of here, too. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. Raven? Come on. Guess we'd better. Get ready. I'm taking you down. The Don would be crazy to do this alone. I think it's about time. I agree. You don't mean... from up here? I got a bad feeling about this. We should get back to Dongrist. I'm the spitting image of Eifried. Not the picture I had in my head. Indeed. I thought he'd be an imposing figure like Don. I'm all muddled. I need to ask Don for more details. This is awesome!
It's terrible! The Union and Palmastrolli are squaring off against each other with Hope Lone Blastia! The Dawn is back, but something's not right! So, you made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. What? Why would he want to do something like that? To... set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolica. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information. Which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made up his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem. Even if it meant going against the laws. No! He can't do that! There has to be some other way. Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat. And if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Polistrale. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. <sighs> I'm going with Carol. Hang in there, kid. You're a boss now, right? But it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Dawn! Take good care of them, and they'll be there whenever you need them. <sighs> I'm coming with you. Like hell you are! Well, old man, it's been fun. Raven, you better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. <laughs> You're the only one I can ask. White Horse. Little lady, try going underground through the storeroom in the city's tavern. Mm. There's a wall there inscribed with Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, but he's also a full member of the Union. And it falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases.
So, who's gonna be my second? It would be my honor. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. You too. <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. I don't think they'd let me into the hell you're going to. <laughs> I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. Gone! Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming. So get out there and make it for yourselves. Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Dawn was talking about. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. The pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility, accepting the choices he'd made, the Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility, choices. I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild, with Brave Vesperia. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Now my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Don, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man.
I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn, and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talking with Paula Strale instead. But they might be done talking, and just attack anyway. When I thought that, I... I was too scared to go alone. So I ended up not going at all. I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I can't go with you anymore, Yuri. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it, then? Is that all guilds and brave Vesperia mean to you? Just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! to be useful to the Dawn, for him to notice me. He's been a role model for me, and now he's not around. So you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it the Dawn died for? You of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri. You never understand how I feel. I'm not tough like you. There's no way I can be like you and the Dawn. It's over. Our guild is... Carol! Don't you remember all the Don told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Temza to find Judy. Huh? Brave Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... He'll be all right. He'll be fine. But... Well, now, if it isn't the darling boy and girl. How very nice to see you both. 
Jaeger! You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palastrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped him form their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you'll see. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without the poor dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. Even Jaeger is mourning the dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's Claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. To the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss and Jaeger the person. The Dawn did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Where are Carol and Patty? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as well, Yuri. Now that we know the hunting blades are out to get Judith, we've got to try and help her. We're not obligated to do anything for her. Judith shared in our travels. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. You two are worried about her. I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. Anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader himself gonna come? It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. So did it help you remember anything? Mmm... It doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desier by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. All right, let's head to the ship.
Wait! I'm... going with you. I might not fully understand the things that Dawn wanted to tell me yet, but Brave Vesperia is my... no, our guild. So... so I've got to come with you guys. Carol? I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why... that's why I've got to go. Please let me come too! Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks! But don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I... I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone calls me boss. I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. Not a bad plan. All right! It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds, I think. Hmm, yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah! Hey, old man! Ma, how glorious is youth! What are you up to? Huh? Something wrong with my being here? Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. But you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my throat was hoarse and there wasn't a tear left in me. Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> what are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. Traveling in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. This isn't lively, it's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? Why are we going back there? That's a pretty good hunch you had there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. So are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! for freedom, our shield for friendship, our lives for the common good. The Union O, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. Aye. Well, we'll just have to take up the oath for Don and Eifried then, won't we? Well, Don, looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and Eifried once carried. <laughs> 